Vaping Maniac, and today, yes sir, today I have the Cartel Mod, Brass Edition, Limited Edition, what you want to call it, this is a bad boy, this joker here is a beast, I'm telling you, you can pick this one up, you're going to love this one, uh, has a nice pretty patina on the brass, in the close-ups, I'll show you the, the other two tubes. You have uh, your 18650 tube, you have your 18500 tube, and then also it comes with the 18350 tube. Yes. Uh, on top, I'm rocking the Stellar clone I picked up at Mr. Joe's. Yeah, I picked this up at Mr. Joe's. You need to go in there and, 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 and uh, see what they got. Just go in there and see what they got. You know, they have some pretty good stuff. They got some new stuff in here. I'm not going to tell you right now. I'll tell you on the next video when I get there. When I get to that one, I'll tell you. But this is what I'm rocking right now. It's a, a dual parallel coil, 28 gauge, four wraps. It's rocking three ohms. That's a bad boy right there. That's a, let's have a vape and put this back together. And we're going to have us a vape. Stellar is wide open. Woohoo! Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna close it off by halfway, and then we're gonna uh, steal Chucks. Yeah, see, halfway. Let's do this. Steal Chucks out some vapor. Look at that. Look at that. I like it. I like it a lot. So, <clears throat> what we're gonna do now? We're gonna go down to the table. We're gonna check out all three tubes. Show you the box, show you everything, the switch, the uh, top cap, show you all that good stuff, and uh, let's do it. Okay, people, this is what we have. We have the infinite clone of the Cortel mod, uh, the limited edition. Here's the box. This is the box it came in. Pretty nice box. Uh, open, open, nice letters on everything nice logo silver black box silver writing inside we have the 18 350 tube look how thick these tubes are solid brass this is very very nice nice logo real shiny it's a brushed uh brushed brass very nice all three tubes uh there's nothing underneath of it this is all you get um, here's the 18500 tube once again solid brass nice threads no burrs running a finger through there no burrs uh, yes yeah, it's, it's very nice uh, here we have the 18652 maybe serial number have your nice logo limited edition cartel mods uh, 510, there's your 510 with the little slots right there. Uh, the switch, the switch is nice. Let's see if I can get that up there to you. Yeah, the switch is very nice. Nice springy, springy switch. I like it. Uh, let's take this apart. Huh. Battery, the top cap off. Now the switch, just uh, this do come all the way out. You can take this pin all the way out. This is your firing pin. It's silver, uh, silver plated brass. It's real long, and it's real nice. This part, this is for you uh, adjust your battery on this one here to adjust your battery. Uh, this bigger piece here is for your Addy, for the throw of your Addy. Has a nice, nice Derwin insulator on the inside. I haven't tried to take that loose. Uh, let's see. Hey, I'm not going to do it. Uh, it comes out though. Uh, yeah, here's the top cap. If you look, listen to this. That's very nice. Very nice threads. Not crunchy, just smooth. Very, very smooth. I love these threads. Uh, let's put this back together. See, this is how you uh, adjust for your atomizer. 
to make it sit flush on the top cap. Just finger tight. And with these Sony VTC4s, have to put it all the way flat like this. So you'll and you'll still have a nice. You don't have to adjust that much because this layer has a long pin. If it was shorter, then I do that and then spin this little one, spin it back out. But it is what it is. Take that back off and let's get into this switch. Love this switch. Move it to the side. Move that to the side. Move that over there. Over here. Now here's the switch. Switch. It's a little bit loose, but let's take out this uh, O-ring so we can get down in here and look. It has a nice thick rubber O-ring. Look at that. That's to keep your battery from shorting out and auto fire. It sits like that. And then the, uh, the pin on the button goes right up through between there. And look at this D. Look at how big this, this vent hole is. Look, I put this two this three millimeter. What's this? Uh, it says number zero on the Stanley set. It's a you know, Stanley screwdriver. It comes in a set, uh, precision screwdriver. This is uh, number zero. So it uh, it, it's still a lot of room in there. Look at that. It's a nice vent hole. Uh, have your serial number on the button. This one's 1398. That's a uh, Undo this right quick. It's big old fingers I have. It's hard to get in these little small parts. But the bottom, the bottom pin is also uh, <clears throat> silver plated brass. And then, voila! Check out this spring. It's a pretty good size spring. It's it's not uh, too stiff. It's not too loose. It's like red, perfect, perfect, perfect. Then you have your button with the nice uh, engravings on the bottom. Yeah, nice engravings. Uh, that's all I got on the switch. Let's put this back together. If you look at the patina on this, can you? This is the way it normally is, you know. Put this out by side. See the difference in the patinas? I use this one, been using it for about a week now, and it has nice patina on it. Well, this is very shiny. I'm gonna have to clean this back up to make it look like these tubes. Let me put this switch back together. Okay, there we have it. So yeah, this is a. Uh, I'll show you the way it comes in the box. If I can get that back in there. All three tubes fit nice on the uh, threads. Threads are real smooth. Look at that. Sometimes I like uh, I like rocking it like this, and uh, when I put my K fun on top with my uh, 18350 battery, it just looks so nice. But yeah, this is the way it comes in the box. Looks just like this. Uh, it's it's a uh, once you use it, your logos are uh, darken up. See how that logo right there is darker than the rest of them? Yeah, it'll it'll darken up, and you'll see the logo a lot better than this. Um, yeah. Let's uh put this back together in uh in eighteen six fifty mode and uh go back out and vape on it and talk about it some more. Alright YouTube, I'm back vaping on this cartel mod limited edition brass. Oh, this is a bad boy. Woo 
man. You should uh go down to Mr. Joe's, talk to Basim. Um, it'll hook you up with a, with a good setup like this. Uh, the price on this thing is I'm I'm thinking it's around around a hundred bucks for this one. Uh, they're they're kind of proud of this one. No big deal, you know, a hundred bucks. Yeah, for me, it's worth it. You know. Um. Yeah, I like this one. Uh. Let me have another. Let me have another vape while I think about what I was gonna say next. Man, I really, really love this thing. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. Um. Yeah. Uh. Go down to Mr. Joe's. See what they got. And uh. Pick up. Pick up one of these. Uh. <clears throat> thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please, please subscribe. Uh, uh, comment below. Uh, you can email me. You can do if you have any questions. You can email me. I'll I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and most of all, vape what you like. <laughs>